Like I was literally sitting there like contemplating like, man, which end do I rather this come out of? Like that's how bad it was. Hey y'all, so before I get this video started, let me give a quick shout out. These were the first three comments in my last video. If you want to be featured in my next video, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and come show me some love when I drop a new video. Hey y'all, so I know y'all are used to mukbang Mondays, but honey, the food poisoning I had at four o'clock this morning, I'm not eating nothing for 48 hours. Okay, I just, I can't. So it's 3.58 in the afternoon, it's Saturday. My grandma's birthday is tomorrow, so we're meeting up at Red Lobster. The meetup time actually was four o'clock, but I know I'm not eating, so I decided to give myself a little bit of time. About to head to the store to get her a birthday card. Her gift just got delivered to her house like maybe 20, 30 minutes ago, and I need to stock up on some Gatorade because my diet for the next 48 hours it's going to be Gatorade water and Sprite just to have a little bit of fizz on my stomach to help keep it settled. But yeah, I'm scared to eat right now. So I'll tell y'all all about the food poisoning, where I got it from, all that stuff later on in the vlog. But it's time to head out. So I just pulled up. Hi, Mama. She over all y'all. Say hi to my camera. That's the birthday girl. Hi. Thanks everybody for coming out. <laughs> Uncle Timmy. This one. Yeah, I got you already. That's the baby's dad. It's a recording. <laughs> Say what's up. Hi. Say what's up, Nisi? You want it? <laughs> Too bad. She was smiling. <laughs> Look at her. Like, wait, I thought she was giving it to me. <laughs> Wave hi, guys. I want to go home. I said, I didn't want to get you. I just playing <laughs> You ready? <laughs> you can let her have it. <laughs> Look at my big girl. Oh, poo poo. It good. It good, big girl. Say yep, TT. <laughs> Hi, Boo Boo. Say you're so good, TT. <laughs> this her daddy, y'all. Uh, what? I don't like nothing on your face. Hey, dear Juanita. Happy birthday to you. All right, y'all ready? Y'all, I'm on my way home and I'm starting to get sick again. You know you sick when you go to Red Lobster and you can't even eat no biscuits. Like I didn't even have a desire to, but I'm starting to get nauseous again and my stomach's starting to rumble and tumble. So I don't know if we're gonna be coming out both sides. Honey, I don't know, but I'm almost home. I feel horrible. Hey y'all, it is Monday afternoon. I am finally feeling almost 100%, which is why this video is gonna come out probably like an hour late or something, I don't know. But I need to finish telling you guys about the story about how I got the freaking food poisoning crap. So, Friday night, I ordered some pizza 
and the crazy thing is i usually get pineapple mushroom i told y'all that on the last mukbang last week so i'm like oh well you know what it's a special 12.99 for i think it was a large uh pizza up to five toppings so usually i'll just get pineapple mushrooms um onions peppers and tomatoes and i leave it at that but i was like no let me just go ahead and get some philly cheesesteak meat big mistake so first of all, I know that that meat had to have been old or it was stored wrong. I'm gonna lean on the side of probably old only for the simple fact, and this is allegedly whatever, only for the simple fact that that doesn't seem to be a very popular thing for people to put on their pizza. It's not like sausage or pepperoni where somebody's ordering it all the time. Um, or like I said, it could have been stored wrong, I don't know. So I ordered my pizza. I think I got the pizza like probably around nine o'clock at night i ate four slices of pizza within probably 10 minutes within an hour y'all i started to get nauseous so i was on my video game and i'm just like man like i'm kind of nauseous but i wasn't thinking anything of it and so it was like my nausea just progressively got worse and worse and worse to the point where at three o'clock in the morning i well actually like around one o'clock in the morning i told my friends i said y'all like my nausea is so bad i feel like i'm drunk like I don't know if you're watching this video if you've ever been drunk or like really really tipsy i've only been drunk one time in my life but if you ever been really drunk or really really tipsy like that car sickness feeling and just that nausea like that's how i felt but i hadn't drank anything so by three o'clock in the morning i told my friends i said yo i have to get off the game because this is getting terrible and one of my friends we've been playing together for like probably nine years now he was like man just go make yourself excuse me throw up i'm like no <laughs> absolutely not so anyway i get off the game at three i fall asleep probably about 3 15. i don't know what time i woke up i just remember by the time i finished throwing up it was like four o'clock and i went back to sleep about 4 15. but anyway y'all i woke up and i was like something don't feel right and i was sleeping like kind of like on my stomach and I usually don't, but I did that because I thought the pressure put on my stomach would kind of help to settle it a little bit. So I ran to the bathroom, y'all, and before I could even get to the toilet another two steps, I was just all in a sink. And it was projectile vomiting. Like, it wasn't just normal. Like, the force in which I was throwing up was throwing my body into the, the, sh uh, the C letter shape. Like, the shape of a letter C. It was bad and i promise y'all all four slices of pizza was already up like it was gone so i had woke my mom up um because i knew it was saturday she didn't have anything to do like she just thought that she had to go to work or anything and plus i had to wake her up because it was so hot in the bathroom like anytime i'm having like any kind of like diarrhea like anything like that like i cannot be hot like i will pass out so anyway so I call her in there and she's about to throw up from seeing and smelling throw up. So she had to like stand outside the bathroom like this. And I'm like, mom. So she was like, you need anything? She's like, well, let me just get you some Sprite and crackers. And she got me those saltine crackers. I don't know how y'all chew and swallow that crap. That crap almost got stuck in my throat. I had to use Sprite just to help get it down. I only ate one of them so i started to feel a little bit better but like i said i knew that all four pieces came up like there was nothing left in me i probably like vomited i think six or seven times in that one session so fast forward i fell back asleep and probably not even 20 minutes later i woke back up this time i rushed all the way down the hallway to my mom's bathroom and I was sitting there trying to throw up, but she doesn't have like a, a she has like a stand up shower. So there was nowhere for me to sit down and I'm 5'10". I can't be bending over no short toilet. Like the toilet in me and my sister's bathroom is a tall one. It's like a new one. My mom's, hers is like short. So I couldn't, I'm like, my, I gotta go back in my bathroom, but I never threw up. So I was like, well, I don't think I have to throw up. Like maybe everything came out, whatever, whatever. So then I wouldn't even say 20 minutes after going right back to sleep, I woke up again and this time I was like, ma, cause I knew I was about to throw up again. But this time it was like, it felt even worse because I had nothing left on. Like I legit thought I was good as dead. 
I thought my stomach was gonna come up out my throat and I know it can't do that but that's how it felt so the last time that I threw up I think I had vomited maybe like three times three or four times in that session and it was all green like all I had on my stomach was that one little bitty cracker and Sprite and I was just like yo and it was just green from the bile and stuff in my stomach because nothing else was there. I was like, mom, I don't have anything left in me. And I was like trying to cry, but I couldn't cry because I was just so frustrated because I just wanted to sleep and I was tired and everything just hurt from all the throwing up. And um, so my mom was like, well, do you want me to get you some nausea medicine? I'm like, sure, you could try. Now, let's, let me tell you something. I made this post on Facebook <laughs> last month or the month before I was looking for some uh, peroxide. And I was like, oh, found it. It expired in 2007. That, sh that just shows you how much people get sick in my house. It's not very often. So when she bought the nausea medicine, I took it and I was like, I said, this shit probably from 1922. She started cracking up. I said, girl, this is what's going to take me up out of here. <laughs> Y'all, I looked at the bottle. It expired in 2002. I'm like, really she was like you're not still gonna take it so i took like a small teaspoon of it and she was like it said take two i'm like lady ain't no way i'm taking two teaspoons of this i barely want to take the little one teaspoon half a teaspoon that i took so i took that and i like ate maybe two more crackers down the whole thing of sprite just to see if it could settle my stomach and i didn't throw up anymore um, I think I woke up maybe like 10 o'clock in the morning or 7, was it? I think I woke up at 7. I stayed up till 10. I didn't throw up. And then by the time I woke up again is when you guys saw the clips of us going out to eat or whatever. But y'all saw that I got really, really like nauseous and stuff on the way back, the drive back from going out to eat. And that night I still didn't eat anything. No, I had yeah i didn't eat anything and it's like you know that you're sick when you look at cheddar bay biscuits like no mm -mm, i don't want it <laughs> so yeah i ended up having diarrhea really bad that night but there was nothing on my stomach so it was just like water coming out the other end you know just like legit water and yeah so yesterday I had the diarrhea again yesterday morning, but there was no nausea. And so at that point I was just like, well, maybe it's time for me to finally eat a little bit. I ate like maybe two or three spoonfuls of potato salad, two or three spoonfuls of macaroni. And then I had a small hamburger. I didn't finish the whole hamburger. I wasn't able to finish both the, I finished the potato salad. I couldn't finish the macaroni. And I was starting to feel nauseous after all oh, mom. And my stomach got the rumbling. I said, oh mom, mm-mm. But I didn't end up getting sick at all. So I think that I'm back 100%, which I'm happy about because y'all, I'm craving some crab legs right now. Like I'm craving everything right now because I didn't eat anything for like 36 hours. But I feel better. Oh, I didn't tell you guys where I ordered the pizza from. I ordered it from Papa John's. Um. So yeah, needless to say, I probably won't get food from that place anymore. And honestly, I just, this is why when I go out to eat different places, I try not to order something that's probably not a popular item, because, especially if it's meat in there, because you just don't know how they've been storing it, if they've been trying to store it a different kind of way so it'll last longer. I did end up calling the manager at that Papa John's and I just told him like, hey, listen, I got food poisoning like a couple, not even an hour after eating. And I started projectile vomiting a couple hours after eating half of the pizza. And I'm like, I don't know what happened to that meat, but y'all need to pull it. Like you cannot give that to anybody else. And I told him, I said, I didn't eat anything for 24 hours prior. So I know it was that. And he thanked me for calling. And he was like, you know, a lot of people don't end up calling. So we continue to sell that meat, blah, blah, blah. And he said that he was going to call other stores. And I mean, I don't know if he really pulled it. I don't know if he really called the other stores that had that same batch. I have no idea. But all I know is I did my part. And I told him, I said, no, I'm a nurse. So I understand how important that kind of stuff is. So, yeah, I hope that nobody else got sick off of that. That was my first time ever having food poisoning, y'all. And like I said, I thought I was good as dead. Okay. As sick as I was a couple of, what was that, last month, a couple of weeks ago from sleeping under the heater, like, I would prefer that than throwing up. Like, I was literally sitting there, like, contemplating, like, man, which end do I rather this come out of? Like, that's how bad it was. But 
Needless to say, y'all, I'm fine now. I feel great. So Mukbang Mondays will continue next week. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the really cool clips of us going out to eat. It was like 29 of us. It was for my grandma's birthday. She just turned 72. And she look good, so she y'all, I know. But yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed the video, even at my device, my little story time. If you guys have any questions, of course, free to leave them down below. Please thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.